I need a grave digger. Hi, Sizzrin here with a first impressions video to my session one of Necropolis. And um, this is right after sleeping, so I'm feeling pretty refreshed. And I had an absolute insane day one. I would say um, this is probably my best day one ever. And it was my first time ever, I believe, during an actual league start, dropping unique off Hillip. <laughs> no, it wasn't a tabula. It was the Crown of Thorns, but still, that's so nice because it makes you safe for mud flats. Which, you know, how many of us haven't died to Roas on day one? So, um, having that 2-300 energy shield there, so nice. It felt lovely. I'm gonna go through different parts of day one and, like, campaign changes, early mapping thoughts, uh, and a little bit about the league. But, first off, remember that you can bind your portal now. And it's so nice. The campaign changes are really interesting. Um, I would like to see them do more stuff like this. I think that was a cool way of making your first run through the campaign really special. Like, I don't know if that's something that's going to fix PoE's problem with the campaign long term. I think just more Twink gear and stuff like that fixes that. And more interesting ways to level. The crab thing is an essence now. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? The portal out of the ship graveyard cave take you straight to Fairgraves. There's a hidden box in the prison that gives you three Quicksilvers. Or I think it's just three flasks, but very often Quicksilvers. And you have things like a uh, Val Orb during the campaign. Interesting first day through the campaign. I did a seven hour run and just really took my time. It was very safe. Yeah, it went really well. No close calls at all. In fact, I didn't even lose HP really. The new um, Enduring Cry thing on Autocast. Ha! Huh, so good. I have it down to six cooldown now, and I think we did some math that with Enhance and Ashes, you can get it down to like 3.8 or 4 seconds. I'm bad at math, but it looked sick. As for early mapping, you do drop a lot more Scarabs than I thought. However, it is also the not-so-good Scarabs. So, I have for now, like first I tweeted at a PSA, like maybe consider not taking Unwavering Vision. But I needed Essences so desperately that I am taking it myself. But I do want to get rid of it and take the uh, drop more scarab notes instead because they look so crazy. People have been putting out posts on Reddit with like, hey, I opened 30,000 veiled scarabs and they got zero of the actual rare ones. Like there were some of the rare ones, they got zero off. Um, so they're, they're insanely rare. They're basically, it's kind of bad because that means that they have balanced them around six man group farming and I get it and that is important, but it's also, it does suck. For those of us that don't want to play in a group, like I don't do much group farming and I don't love it. But I have been using some of the more common ones, like, you know, just add a bunch of essences or add a bunch of divination cards, uh, etc. So they've been useful. Now, I have gone for this so far. Um, I was going to go for Expedition and then I realized how much I fucking hate Expedition and I'm not solo cell fan and I just don't want to deal with it. So I've been doing like Sanctum farming. And I took Syndicate. I'm farming Gravicious on transport, and I instantly got a taste of hate, which I sold for roughly two divines. I also got quite lucky, dropped an Ivory Tower, which I sold for one divine. So I've been able to really gear up. I have three divines, three exalted orbs, 50 chaos. I think I've farmed 170 chaos or something so far. Uh, I bought a few tabulas, started corrupting those because I was really hoping for um, plus two AoE or plus two duration because that'd be so sick for EA early on because early on you do have Explosive Arrow in uh, the tabula. And I did manage to level the majority of my gems to level 20, and uh, I did hit one at 21. And uh, I was running lab a lot to quality them, because obviously I don't want to spend a fortune in DCP. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll run some lamb. And since EA is so tanky, I was like, dude, I'll run people through Uber Lab and charge like super cheap. So I think the offerings are 5C and I was charging 6C and I bring the offering. Um, so I was basically charging people 1C for Uber Lab run because it didn't really make a difference to me. EA is just so strong and I was like, yeah, I'll just carry people. You don't have to risk dying. If you're not sure about Atlas trees and what to do, we have a video made and, uh, yeah, they're, they're super well made. Uh, we put a lot of thought into like different trees. There's always something like either Huck for power on the left side or Nico for power on the right side. I'm loving the Nico power on the right side. Like it's so nice. And do be careful with the Extreme Archaeology node for the Fizz Overwhelm Elven Expedition will kill you. Now, as for the League mechanic itself, 
See, the thing is, my first impression is big shit on the crafting, but I do think a lot of that is, is very harvesty and me being stupid, right? Like, but you also, you, inst you don't instantly know the mechanic. So that's just my first impression. I do see the potential here. Uh, and I think we are going to craft some really, really good things. And once I play around with it, I'll probably make some rules for myself. Like, you know, if I do this, as a pretty good chance of turning out. But I did do like loads of like, oh, I'm going to do loads of gem modifiers. I'm going to do loads of extra fire, loads of extra elemental, 600% chance of life, 300 life rating. And my amulet had no gem modifier. It had like very little. It just had like 63 life and then like 1.3 life regen and a bunch of bad stats. And there was nine seconds of channeling, which feedback for GDD, the fact that when it's four graves and it does the nine second channeling after four, you know, I don't mind the nine second channeling if I've done like this entire thing, you know, like a very big hype craft. You know what? It is kind of cool. I'll give you that. But after four, I was like, bro, I do not want that nine second animation after four. Okay. Put it on 10 to 20 plus, then it makes sense. And then it's kind of cool. Maybe even make it. He's louder the more it is, and we have game-breaking audio when you fill up the entire thing. I don't know. That's a dumb idea. I only have dumb ideas today. I've been trying to keep some of the crafts that are like these, the ones that give uniques and stuff. This is a way too low limit. They're probably going to increase that to 200, I would assume. And personally, I've been cremating a lot, I and mean, I'm despairing a little bit because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to figure this out. I, I'm not like, I don't know. My brain doesn't work for this. I've been trying, I've been trying, like, oh, let's put lots of speed, a chance for speed modifiers and speed modifier rating, and like chaos for chaos resist, life for life, but nothing, I haven't, I haven't made a single craft so far. All my stuff has been from identifying shit or essences and buying stuff off trade. I haven't made one item. I don't know if everybody else is having the same experience. I did use it early on just as like, okay, let's do this. And then, you know, at least this is basically like Al King and Amulet, you know, like it's, it's, I get an Amulet and then, okay, it didn't hit, but I, I did get some of my early stuff that, so it was really nice for that. And I think it'll be really good for end game, but for the mid game right now, big shit for uh, my current knowledge level. I am hoping that we'll see, especially some of the people that really go super deep into the crafting league mechanics deal with it. But it does seem like just a very big combination of Harvest versus Delve. And I, I do see the uh, where they're going with it and, and why it could be cool. As for the league mechanic in maps, I also haven't had anything cool happen there. I'm more excited for other things in the league, to be completely honest with you. The league mechanic is kind of just whatever right now. People have told me, well, what if it's only really good when you invest into it? My argument there, I would personally be a little peeved off if we have a forced, a thrust upon us league mechanic that is only good when you invest into it. But I have to deal with it no matter what. That would be kind of annoying to me. That would be very annoying design for me. Then I would be against the nodes. Like something like this would make a lot more sense for an optional league mechanic like um, Harvest, right? You didn't, you weren't forced to interact with Harvest. And even Affliction, you could completely skip it. That, I do love the idea of nodes, but not when it's a forced mechanic if it's not good without it. Again, completely first impressions here. I am expecting to... Um, have this change, and hopefully I'm I'm wrong about a lot of the things. Uh, we do have the all flame embers as well. I haven't had any rewards from those yet. I ran some of these to give me some nice quality quality gems. I did run some of the curry ones. I didn't get any tattoos when full clearing the stone, so that was a little sad. And they were very dangerous, so I'm now terrified of the maps. I'm obviously a very tanky character. I don't have suppression. But I have 5.5k life. I have the Nico nodes for plus three max stress. And with last up, I have like 20k armor. Plus I have endurance charges usually. So I, I'm continue, continuing to engage with the lean mechanic, whether I want to or not. But uh, not had anything fun happen from the lean mechanic so far. So a gotta say it's a little bit of a disappointment for me going from charms, which is like very, they're very obviously cool, right? They're very obviously and easily cool. Same with sanctified relics. They're so obvious power. Uh, and th this isn't as obvious. So... Again, I, I don't want to be overly negative. I think they will be something that'll be cool in game, but it's a lot less obvious. And maybe I'm just dumb, but that's my first impression. So either way, I hope everybody's having a blast with the lean mechanic. I can't wait for tier 17s and the new Ubers. And uh, yeah, 
Scissor and Acropolis having a blast. Got the sixth thing ready. It is a plus three bow. I'm obviously going to overwrite that. It has no fucking attack speed. Um, so I don't really want to use that. I'd rather use a Quill Rain with a Tabula. And then all my other gear is like, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll replace most of that today. Do a bunch of Sanctum farming. Probably set my goals. I'm making like 20, 30 Divines today. And then uh, get really geared up. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy watching the videos of First Impressions and all the other stuff we do on YouTube. And sub if you like it. And you can buy the Kirak Wall Pass through me. Those are the ways to support. Either way, try to die less than I do.